Hello everyone and welcome back to another Satisfactory video. Now today we're going to be looking at one of my best builds ever in Satisfactory. I know that's probably a bold claim, but I think when it comes to the amount of detail added into a build, this probably takes the cake out of everything I've ever built. And pretty much what this entire oil rig is doing is designing a coal power plant. Pretty much. I know it kind of sounds weird calling it an oil rig, but then it's producing coal uh, power. So it's just kind of a little bit weird that way, but I think just the rig itself is like why I'm going to call it like an oil rig because it kind of is. It's just producing power with coal. So let's go over how this entire design works and what we're going to do is kind of start with some of the details. So one, we have a total of 32 coal generators. Now we have a total of 16 on each side stacked together because of the new soft clearance with update 5. And then we have that on both sides. So this entire rig is symmetric. Then we have these awesome sinks and the awesome sinks will just kind of take any excess coal that we have if everything does build up over time and then that will just send them into the awesome sink so we can gain tickets or coupons now let's start underneath with the actual routing of things so we have a total of 12 water tractors now the reason why we have 12 is three water tractors can actually power eight coal generators so that's why we have again if you kind of think about it these two ones powering the bottom coal generators the other in the middle is powering the top and then vice versa on the other side so what we're actually gonna do you know what let's walk around the entire rig because I feel like you get the full scale when you're walking around so if we come down here this kind of like where I'm not like I'm trying to figure out like how I would get here do I want to put a road to it but then the kind of defeats like the oil rig design so I'm trying to figure that out as we go maybe hyper tubes would be another solution but then you can see the water tractors here and so we'll come up and then down here onto these catwalks so we can actually see how everything is working so these are probably yellow because they're just producing too much water right now compared to what the coal generators are producing while we wait for everything to build up but then we just have all these water tractors with a lot of pumps because we are raising up water quite a bit and so we will need quite a bit of pumps to produce that water all the way up to where it needs and then up above we're using these modular frames or frame foundations a lot in this build and then we're actually putting conveyor and piping into them you can especially see this in the middle here where we have pipe all the way in the middle but then we also have conveyor as well this is actually where some of the coal is being transported which one that looks like a mark oh that is a mark four it just looked like not a mark four conveyor belt and then this is actually where the drum port is so it's kind of overhanging there but again you can kind of see all the routing of piping all the routing of conveyor inside these frames which is so great i love using these for exactly for that reason and then we can come up to here and now we're on the main level where you're going to start running into all the coal generators so on this first level i wanted to keep it kind of clear i wanted to have a little bit of walkway space so when we come in here you can see that we have the pipes coming up through the floor which is then going into those frames underneath that we were just looking at and then you can also see that we're using oh, of course i would go to the one we have a lot of beams that we're using to kind of act as structural integrity to kind of give the build a little more detail now i did post this on facebook as well a couple of these pictures and a couple of people were asking how you get these diagonal metal beams now i thought that everyone knew this but just in case you don't if you just hit r with the beams it will then switch to a diagonal mode so that's how i did produce those if you just were curious because i i thought everyone knew that um, but with zooping and the new details they added with update 5 that's what i did and then I did add these lights, which I love this detail. I think that's actually one of the best details on the build. I know it's kind of weird to say for lights, but the lights are actually being supported by beams with more beams kind of running through them to look like they are being supported. And then that's lighting the entire walkway space here, which really looks cool at night, which I can even show you here in a little bit. But yeah, so we have a total of the eight coal generators on the bottom with also power banks. And I just feel like so small, <laughs> like when I'm standing next to these things. So we have power banks running all the way down the side here, which is just going all the way down, running the full length of the coal generators. And then what we also have are these Mark 1 pipes. Now these Mark 1 pipes are actually running up to the next generators up above. So again, we need more of these pumps to get the water up. But I also really like how they look. So this is one of the small details that I added was using these, you know, again, conveyor floor holes for my pipes. I think they just look better and then actually having the pipes run through it all the way up to the next level looks really clean but then also to make sure it doesn't look like it's clashing i did move the beams around it to kind of make it like it is a penetration into the actual build itself and it was thought of and we can go up now the next level is pretty much the same so here you can kind of see a little bit better what we're doing with the beams to support the lighting you can kind of see that here 
looks pretty good but then again this is going to be the exact same as down low just a little bit different orientation because now the pipes are on the outside not the inside but then we have this walkway here so we can actually come and see how each coal generator is doing so our my plan is working of having the coal generators kind of filling up with coal to the max and then it will kind of trickle down to all the other ones that maybe don't get as much once all of them are full it's like this one right now it's at 74 since the other ones are full it's going to get more coal running down the line so this will then fill up to 100 which will then fill this one up from none it's kind of just like the trickle down effect is what i was hoping for originally when designing this i bet there is a more efficient way and the other way i was thinking that is getting rid of this little equipment workshop and putting another drone here on the bottom uh, on this side of the port now what this would do is have one drone supporting the top 12 or 16 generators and then one would be supplying the bottom is kind of the idea here but yeah that's pretty much what this build is like i kind of said it is symmetrical on both sides so i'm really happy with how this turned out i think it's just like when i look at this there's not much more i could do i'm not sure if i even showed in here but here's kind of like what all the conveyor looks like for the coal generators up above so again just using the foundations with these frames and then we're just putting conveyor in them and then it's kind of just being sorted with conveyor floor holes to come up from underneath from the drone port but yeah this like i said is probably one of my favorite ever builds i want to look at doing more of these because i think this is actually very very compact for like how much equipment is in here how much conveyor pipe everything it's very very compact and i feel like it is a true factory design i feel like this is something that i would actually see in real life you know what i mean to where i feel like a lot of my other builds they look really good but they're not as realistic to where i feel like this is actually a lot more realistic when it comes to how it looks so yeah thank you for watching guys it is greatly appreciated i will have another video coming up soon on my other world when it comes to another coal power plant will be the next video and that one will be a little bit different kind of back to normal roots um and it's kind of funny because i actually did record that video before this one so you will hear a couple comments about wanting to do a design like this and now it's already been done all right so yeah i will talk to you guys later thank you very much for watching if you guys do want to download this world you can support my patreon to download the world save and this will be on there and ready to go but yeah i will talk to you guys later thank you for watching and bye bye